In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add clickable links from a desktop but also a mobile device as both of them have slightly different experiences. So let's start with the desktop version. Once in the home page, you can start by creating a new document or opening an existing one. I have a design ready here that I want to use for this tutorial. so. I'm going to open this design right here. Once in the editor, you are going to click on the element that you want to add the link to. In Canva, you can add hyperlinks to text, elements, images, and videos. So if you wanted to, you could add a link let's say to this icon here or to any text box or if i had images or videos i will be able to add links to them i'm gonna add links to these text boxes because these elements here they actually look like buttons so i'm gonna use them as buttons you just simply need to click the element you want to add the link to so i'm gonna add a link to this text box then you're gonna click on the three dots and then select the option that says link. From here you'll have the option to link a Canva document so I have some recent documents in here or if you were to have multiple pages in the same design you could also link a page to your element. In my case I'm just going to type the link that I want to enter here so www.canva.com slash Diana Munoz. This will take you to my Canva profile. Now, from here, you can either press enter on your keyboard, you can click anywhere on the editor, or another option is to click down on this little window here. As you can see, this text box now has a clickable link and it also has been underlined automatically. But don't worry, if you don't like to see your text with this underlined format, simply select your text and go to the toolbar on top. I'm going to click underline to remove this line below my text box. The link is still going to work, so don't worry about it. I'm going to add the links to these three buttons here. So I'm going to our YouTube channel here. I'm going to copy the URL going back to Canva and following the same steps. So clicking on the three dots, link, I'm pasting the link here and then click done. Then I'm going to add the link to our membership. Now, let me show you another way in which you can add hyperlinks to your elements in Canva. This one is a shortcut, so we are going to use the keyboard for this one. I'm only going to select the text box where I want to add my link and then I'm hitting Ctrl K. Or if you are using a Mac, this will be Command K. I'm pasting my link here and then click done. I'm going to finalize my last button. So I'm taking Ronnie's Udemy's link and then pasting it here. And now I'm removing the underline from these text boxes. And now that we have our buttons ready, I need to mention that these hyperlinks will only work if you download your design as a PDF or if you are presenting it in Canva. And these links will also work if you are creating a Canva website. These hyperlinks will not work if you download your design as a PNG, JPEG or MP4. Now I'm going to enter into a presenter's view to show you that these four buttons here are working at the moment. So I'm clicking on this button that says present full screen. Now let's see what happens if I click on any of these buttons. Let's start with the YouTube channel. I'm clicking on the button and this is taking me to our YouTube channel. So let me go back to the presentation here. Now let's go to the membership. This is opening the membership view. Let's close these two windows. Now let's go to Ronnie's Udemy profile. And lastly, let's see the templates button. There you go. All the buttons are working perfectly. Now, let me show you how to download this design as a PDF. You're going to click on the share button on top of the screen, then click download. And from here, you are going to select PDF 
standard. You are going to leave these boxes unchecked because if you select flatten PDF, the links won't work. So I'm going to leave it as it is and click download. This is the PDF that I just downloaded from Canva and I just want to show you that the links are working here. So I'm going to click on any of the buttons, like for example, this one here. Now I have this little window asking me if I want to open this link in Google Chrome. So yes. And as you can see, the links are working. So let me do it for this other button here. Perfect. Courses. Perfect. And membership is working as well. Now, coming back to the editor, I want to show you how to update a link or delete it. So let's start by updating it. You're going to click on the hyperlinked element. So let's go for this one here. I'm clicking on the text box and then you will see this pencil icon. This one is the edit link button. So click here and then you'll be able to edit your URL. So let's say that you don't want to go to our channel, but just youtube.com. I'm going to hit enter and then your link has been updated. You can then, you know, customize your text box from here if you want. So I'm going to delete the underline and let's try this link right now. So it should be updated. Now, what if you want to delete your link? You're going to select the hyperlinked elements, go again to edit link, and from here you will see the trash can icon. With this one, you can remove the link from your element. So remove, and now you don't have any link on this button. So I can click here and nothing is happening. Now let me show you how to add clickable links from a mobile device. Again, from here, you can create a new design or you can open an existing one. I have this one here, so I'm tapping on this design. Now you're going to tap the element you want to add a link to. You're going to tap on the three dots. You will see that there is a little menu that appears at the bottom of the screen. So you are going to swipe this menu until you see the link button. You're going to tap here and then you can enter Enter your link in here. You can also link a recent design or if you have multiple pages in the same design you can link a page from here. I'm gonna paste a link here and then I'm gonna select done and here again you can either close the window or tab anywhere on your design. So I'm gonna tab here and the link has been added. Now let me show you because here we also have the underline format on my text box. If you want to delete or remove this underline effect, select your text box, go to format and then deselect the underlined format. Now, if you want to present your design from a mobile device, you can tap on this icon on top of the screen and your link should work from here. So let me click on YouTube. You will see this window saying that you are about to leave Canva. So continue to external site. And this is taking us to our YouTube channel. Now, let me go back to Canva. Now, let me show you how to download a PDF from a mobile device. You're going to tab on this icon on top of the screen. From here, you are going to select download. Remember to leave the boxes unchecked and then hit download. Now, what about if you want to update or remove a link from a mobile device? Select the hyperlinked element and from here you will see again the pencil icon. This will open a little window at the bottom of the screen and you can edit your link from here or you can also delete it with this trash icon. I'm gonna leave here a link to our YouTube membership where you can get perks and also exclusive educational content. And I'm also leaving here a video in case you want to learn more about this membership. I think this is it for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!